I am a professor of information science at the University of Bergen, and I'm the director of the new Center for the Science of Learning and Technology, which has been sponsored by the Ministry of Education in order to look at learning analytics and its role, um, both research and as uh, competence within the educational sector in Norway. If we look away from the technical um, advancements and we think about how we hear about everybody talking about it, I think, in different levels of the, the sector, the schools are talking about it, policymakers are talking about it, that's a big advance, that it's become sort of uh, into the dialogue within, I would say, the educational sector. That's a big move. Yeah, I think the big thing is for them to understand that we don't have all the answers right now, that we actually need research around it, that we need competence in decision makers that would be taking it into use. We need competence in teachers in order to make use of the data. We have a focus already, at least in Norway, on digital competence with teachers, but it gets expanded now to also have to include data literacy, which is a big demand on teachers. We already have problems with them being competent enough um, with even just the use of, of learning technology in the classroom. So how are we going to now and put on top of them having to have data literacy in order to be able to interpret results, etc. But also at school levels, how do we use the data to improve decision making? And at institutional levels, say universities, um, the same same questions there. How can they, they even be aware of what they need to know, um, how data can be used, that kind of thing. Long-term impact with, uh, with analytics, learning analytics, then we actually need to really have this interdisciplinary work. We need to bring in what we know from pedagogy, from psychology, from uh, anyone who looks at visualization, how we understand statistics even. Statistics are misused all the time, and we're adding analytics on top of statistics then it's even more complicated. So we really do need an interdisciplinary effort in order to take this beyond just something that's done in the lab and out into schools, workplaces, etc. I think if we can manage expectations and deal with some of the challenges that are, are there, um, some of the tensions, say, between um, uh, you know, companies coming in and saying they can do things and marketing themselves very well, where we sit as researchers in the labs, we don't get our work out, we don't know how to make it applicable, we can't scale it up, things like that. If we can overcome those challenges, then we can actually see that analytics will be able to be able to support decision making in schools, maybe at leadership, at um, higher levels, county levels, things like that, but also in uh, the adaptation of learning environments for students, which can then help teachers also in their um, classroom work. But also I think that it can be help teacher the professionalization of teachers, because that's one focus we have, is that teachers become a more respected profession. And if we can give them data that can help them reflect on their own practice and on how their teaching is affecting students and things like that, that will help with professionalism of teaching.